Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have another foundation review for you. I'm going to be reviewing the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I know a lot of you guys wanted me to review this and time just got away from me, so I'm going to go ahead and do that today. I've had this foundation since September and I really, really enjoy it. I find myself grabbing for it a ton. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, why I enjoy it, and who I recommend it for. So this foundation can be found at Sephora. It retails for $42 and you get 1.01 fluid ounces and it comes in an impressive selection of 25 different shades. So most of the times you should be able to find a color that matches you. I find the selection quite impressive. Now this claims to be an oil-free, medium to full coverage buildable foundation and it's supposed to give you a soft focus effect and it's supposed to be invisible on camera and in real life. So I have the shade 125 sand. This is a neutral color. I can also wear 123. So this foundation gets a ton of hype because Kim Kardashian says it's her favorite and I must admit I kind of wanted to try it in the first place because I love Kim and I was like oh I'm gonna have to try this. But I also wanted something that wasn't gonna give me that white flashback in photography because I hate when you do your makeup and then you take pictures and you look at it on your camera and your face is like a ghost and you look pale and it's like I just tanned or I'm not that pale and your makeup just kind of disappears. As far as the coverage, I don't think it's buildable to full. I personally only get about a medium coverage out of this, but that's fine. I think it looks really flawless on the skin, but I still have to put a little bit of concealer if I have a really bad breakout. As far as the wear, I have normal to combination oily skin and this lasts on me a good seven hours before it starts to fade. So I usually will just set it with a little bit of powder in my T-zone and I'm good to go for the day. If you have extremely oily skin, this isn't going to work for you. You need to try the Matte Velvet Plus by Makeup Forever. This is not well suited for people with oily skin and it's weird because it's oil free so you would think you would be able to wear it but it's not good for people with oily skin. It will slip right off your face. So if you have normal dry to combination, definitely check this out, but if you're oily, I would not recommend this foundation. And I do agree with the invisible in person and on camera. I cannot see this foundation on my face. I don't see it setting on my face. Like, you can't see it on the skin, but it gives you such a flawless airbrush effect. If you don't have oily skin, you'll probably really like it. I really like it. However, it's not my holy grail foundation. The reason why is because because I think there's lots of other products that can do the same job. I really love this product. I will probably repurchase it when I run out, but it's not like my favorite foundation ever. You have to try it out. Just keep in mind, it's not an extremely long wearing foundation and it's not something that's gonna hold up as well because it is meant for photography and it is meant for film. So like Kim Kardashian loves it because she's in pictures every single day and she's on TV a lot. So, you know, they're filming a few hours every day and the foundation looks flawless where some of us who are at work all day or at school all day don't really have time to touch up and you want something that's gonna last throughout the day so if you're gonna be in pictures a lot or if you're gonna be in film a lot definitely try it out because you'll love it as long as you don't have extremely oily skin because it looks beautiful in photography and it looks beautiful on camera but most of us don't need to be in HD every day I mean walking around unless you just want to feel like you're in HD I don't think you need the product I don't wear this foundation every day I usually only wear it for special occasions or if I'm gonna be in pictures and I know it then I'll wear it but it's not something that I would wear every day because I just don't have the $42 to keep replenishing something that isn't really giving me something more special than other foundations in my opinion if that makes sense so I have lots of other foundations that I just as much love the finish they just aren't good for photography so if you need this for pictures definitely try it out like for prom and stuff like that I think it would be awesome but if you just want something every day, I think that you could find something cheaper or with a different finish that you'll like a little bit better. But that's just my personal opinion. So if you really love this and you love it for every day, don't be offended. I'm not trying to offend you. I'm just giving my experiences and my personal opinion so you don't go out and buy this thinking it's my next holy grail or the next best thing because it is a really good foundation. It's just not my favorite, but I still love it for pictures and photography. So I hope this review was helpful. I know a lot of you guys are always curious about this foundation because I do wear it in a lot of tutorials, but keep in mind, I'm taking pictures and I'm filming, so I like to use this because it's one of the best looking foundations on camera. And on a side note, if you like my makeup, thumbs up this video, and I'll also always try to link my makeup in the description bar, so what's on my eyes, my jewelry, my lips, just so I don't get a ton of people asking because sometimes I don't get to answer everyone and I don't want people to feel left out because I couldn't let you 
you know what I was wearing and I know I always get frustrated when I'm watching someone's video and I'm like what is that lipstick I have to have it and then they don't answer me back or they never say it so I'll always try to list it down below and then thumbs up if you want to see this tutorial I was thinking of doing this makeup tutorial because I never really use a lot of different colors and I used blue so let me know if you want to see it I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one bye So we're just going to start applying it. I'm using the Real Techniques buffing brush and sorry I look crazy but this is just the order I do my makeup in. I usually do my eyeshadow and then do my foundation. So I'm just using a little bit and you can see how much it really blends throughout the face. It blends to a really nice airbrush effect. So I'm going in with just a little bit more in areas I think I need a little bit more coverage. I've already applied one layer and then that's going to be it. So you can see it still didn't completely cover the blemish but overall it looks really really nice and it's a beautiful finish so thanks for watching. I'll see you later.